I'm particularly honored today to introduce the 20 leaders of the Corrections Emergency Response Teams, known as CERT, from across our great state. Before I begin the salute to the CERT leaders, I want to recognize the Central Office Administrators from the Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. Their presence here today clearly shows the high regard the department has for these CERT leaders and their team members as they join us to extend thanks and congratulations on a job well done. Acting Commissioner Anthony Anucci, Deputy Commissioner Joseph Fellner, Associate Commissioner Robert Kennedy, Deputy Commissioner Dan Marticello, Assistant Commissioner James O'Gorman, Assistant Commissioner Patrick Griffin, and recently retired Assistant Commissioner Patricia Laconi. Although I won't be announcing them individually, I'm pleased to recognize the superintendents and deputy superintendents from all 20 of the correctional facilities who are here to also show their support and pride in the efforts of their CERT leaders and members. Now to the honorees of the day. For those who aren't familiar with CERT, they are all dedicated correction officers who volunteer for arduous additional training to respond to any situation within our prison system or communities whenever and wherever they are needed. These teams all responded to the crisis of what was considered impossible. On June 6, 2015, the escape of two murderers from Clinton Correctional Facility, Danamora, my district. Throughout the 23-day search for these inmates, CERT members work 16 to 24-hour shifts under hot, humid, often torrential rainy conditions, searching dense forests where visibility was compromised. In fact, frequently, they couldn't see more than an arm's length in any direction. They traversed through swamps and water over their knees, at times up to their chests. In some of the North Country's most difficult terrain, often without any radio communication or contact with other law enforcement agencies. In addition to the difficult terrain, and if you haven't been in the North Country in June, let me tell you, they contended with brazen black flies and ticks as these CERT members carried the overwhelming load of being in the trenches and on roadblocks. When they finally finished their deployments late at night, they were seen with duct tape on their boots, suffering from dry rot on their feet, victims of various sprains and muscle, muscle injuries, to sleep on cots in a closed prison or former school gymnasium, and ready to start all over again after just a few hours of rest. I am incredibly proud of my North Country constituents who stepped up to provide home-cooked meals, boot dryers and warmers, socks, toiletry supplies, and whatever was needed to acknowledge the courage of CERT until their job was successfully completed in the North Country, as well as the rest of New York State, neighboring states, and Canada were safe. These CERT members were boots on the ground in the North Country for all or part of the 23-day search. They all sacrificed precious time with family and friends, missing birthdays, weddings, graduations, sporting events, the comfort and love of those who were worried about them in order to protect and serve the public. I'm now going to proudly and with deep gratitude from my constituents and certainly personally from me introduce these CERT leaders as each individual deserves recognition for his dedication and service as the leader, but also on behalf of the hundreds of CERT members across this state. I first introduce the Department of Corrections and Community Supervision Colonel Dennis Bradford, Director of CERT Operations. The two CERT leaders from the escape region, Clinton Correctional Facility, Lieutenant Darrell Menard, represented today by Sergeant Gray McCaslin. Upstate Correctional Facility, Lieutenant Steve Sauls. Albany CERT, Albany Training Academy, Captain James Noth, Field Commander, Lieutenant Carl Pierce, Team Leader. Attica, Lieutenant Thomas Monin. Auburn, Lieutenant Mark Valentino. Bedford Hills, Sergeant Dean Rabadou. Collins, Lieutenant Gary Schoenthaler. 
Coxsackie, Lieutenant Gerald Miggs. Eastern, Lieutenant Michael Harms. Elmira, Lieutenant John Randall, represented by Superintendent Paul Chapius. Fishskill, Lieutenant Jamie Glasspool and Lieutenant Joseph Watzweiler. Governor, Lieutenant Robert Taro, represented by Sergeant Scott Cleveland. Great Meadow, Sergeant Michael Hoy. Green Haven, Lieutenant Orazio Bucalo. Mid-State, Lieutenant David Stresspeck. Mohawk, Lieutenant Stephen Otto. Augensburg, Lieutenant Kenneth Buckley. Sing Sing, Lieutenant Anthony Pontan. Wallkill, Lieutenant Gerald Gardner. Woodburn, Lieutenant William Meade, represented by Lieutenant William Holleran. As you know, we will be doing a privileged resolution at the end of session today, and each of these gentlemen and the superintendents will receive a, an engrossed copy. Mr. Speaker, I ask that you welcome Colonel Bradford and the CERT leaders in recognition of the participation by hundreds of CERT members for the tenacious, tenacious efforts of these meritorious correction officers who were instrumental in the successful conclusion of this search without injury or death to any law enforcement personnel or private citizens. Certainly on behalf of Mr. Pre, the speaker, and all the members, we welcome both administrators, commissioner, CERT team leaders, all of you uh, here to the New York State Assembly. We extend to you the privileges of the floor. I congratulate you on the work that you have done in order to keep our community safe. Thank you that, for that ongoing effort and wish you well as you continue your careers. Thank you so very much. <laughs>